There are two types of questions in your CompTIA Security Plus exam. The normal ones like multiple choice and the PBQs, performance based questions. Previously, I've posted 100 different normal questions in my YouTube channel. Check them out and let's practice a PBQ before Christmas. All right, here is the question. You are a network administrator for an organization. Your task is to configure the firewall to meet the following security requirements. We had a similar PBQ before. It was a smaller variation of configuring a firewall. Here are the things that you need to do. I expect you to give the rules of the firewall like this. Rule order, action, protocol, source, destination, and port, and use as many rules as you want. So pause the video, go through the things that I've mentioned in here, take a note of this guy, and then we will jump into the answers. All right, ready? So we are gonna begin with the first rule. Allow incoming HTTPS traffic to the organization's web server at IP address this guy. Obviously, we want the action to be allow. The protocol is going to be TCP because we're dealing with HTTPS traffic. The source is going to be any and the destination is going to be this IP address on port 443. Why port 443? Because we're dealing with HTTPS. Write down in the comment, what is the port for HTTP? All right, how about to block all incoming FTP traffic? Now you might need one or two rules for this one. Did you consider that? All right, let's see. Now to block, um, we are going to use the action deny. Protocol is going to be TCP. Source is going to be any and destination is going to be any because we want to block every traffic everywhere from any source to any destination and the ports are going to be 20 and 21. So for our FTP protocol, there are two key ports that are going to be dealing with server to client uh, data transfer and also command control. So again, if you did not know about this, Go ahead and read a blog post about port 20 and 21 what is the difference between them but basically that's the rule for the second one all right how about the rule number three allow smtp traffic to the organization's email server at ip address this guy all right SM TP uh, is going to be on port 25 and the action is going to be allow TCP connection source any and the destination is this IP address pretty much easy and the port so uh, for sending and receiving mails this is the common one but usually the SMTP is going to be uh, used on port that is secure not specifically port 25 Again, write down in the comment if you know what is the secure port for SMTP traffic in different protocols of SMTP traffic. All right, let's go to the next one. Permit RDP, remote desktop protocol traffic for remote desktop access, but only from the IT department's subnet at this address. All right, as always, uh, we want to use the action allow. Protocol is going to be TCP, but the source is not going to be any. The source is going to be this specific IP address because we want from the IP, uh, IT department to go to any destination. And uh, the port is going to be 3389 because it is RDP. So as I've mentioned before, you're gonna have to get yourself familiarized with HTTPS, FTP, SSH, RDP, and so on and so forth for getting all these ports. So you're going to have to know which one is which because you might not get the specific port in the exam. They will tell you configure HTTPS and you're going to have to know that's on port 443. Okay, let's go to the next one. 
allow DNS queries from any source to the internal DNS server at IP address this guy. Now this is going to be a little bit different. Which part is going to be different? Do you know? The protocol. So, so far we've been using protocol TCP, but for DNS queries, we're going to have to use port UDP. And source is going to be any as mentioned in here. Destination is going to be this IP address. And uh, DNS is on port 53. All right, that's it pretty much. Uh, the last one, de deny all other inbound traffic by default, which is an easy one. You just have to deny any protocol, any source, any destination, any port. And that would be the answer for this whole thing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this PBQ. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Merry Christmas.